Good day class. Welcome back to our mathematics class. This is aliphatic teachers. This class, we are going to be looking at plain geometry. Plain geometry. Just before we dive in into this topic, if you are a new member on this channel, kindly subscribe by clicking the red button and click the notification bell. And don't forget to share to other members for them to benefit. Now, let's dive in properly. Looking at plane geometry, the first subtopic we looked into is the element of plane geometry. Now, in the element of plane geometry, one thing is very important, which we refer to as angles. The angles in plane geometry is measured in degrees and minutes. So our angle in uh, is always measured in degrees and minutes. So one degree equals to 60 minutes. And this is the symbol for representing degree. That is zero, power of zero. And this is the symbol for representing the hour, minutes. But if it is seconds, it's going to be double lines. Double uh, lines. The first angle we talk about is the acute angle. What are acute angles? An acute angle is an, is an angle which is greater than 0 degree but less than 90 degree. So it is between 0 degree and 90 degree. When we look at this, when you try to draw your cardinal point here, we will see that these are our knots. The angle here, the total angle here is 90 degree. So you can see this angle theta here is less than 90 because if you move from this, horizontal line to this vertical line, which is the knot, it is 90 degree. But half of it this way gives an acute angle. Angle greater than zero degree, but less than 90 degree. The second angle I'm going to talk about is the optis angle. An optis angle is an angle that is greater than 90 degree, but less than 180 degree. This is an example of an optis angle. Angle greater than 90 degree, but it's less than 180 degree. So from here, if you draw your cardinal points this way, when you look at this, my angle is now moving from these points. When it gets to this red line, you can see that this is 90 degree. So it goes beyond the 90 degree and stops here. So if this is 90 degree, the second coordinate here is 180 degree. So the angle is greater than 90, but it's less than 180. So 180 ends here at this line. So, but it's less than 180 degree. So this type of angle is what we refer to as an optis angle. The third one, reflex angle. A reflex angle is an angle that's greater than 180 degree, but less than 360 degree. Angle greater than 180 degree, but less than 360 degree. Now, Let's look at this. When you draw this cardinal point here, so you can see my angle is starting from this point. It's moving. It goes here as 90 to this point, 180 to this point, 270. Now it's now moving. It stops at the middle of 360 degrees. So the angle is greater than 90, greater than 180, greater than 270, but less than what? 360 degrees. So angle between 180 and 360 degree is what we refer to as a reflex angle. So these are the three types of angle. But you can also talk about the other angles as well, like the right angle. And right angle is 90 degree. So when we have a vertical line and horizontal line, they form a right angle. That is, it totals to 90 degree. Next one is a straight line angle. Angle on a straight line. It always equals to 180 degree. Now from here, we can now apply these our angles in solving plane geometry. Let's look at the theorems in plane geometry. Now let's look at theorem on straight lines. The only theorem we're going to talk about in this class is a single straight line. What talking about a single straight line. The first one we talk about here is angle on a straight line 
are added up to 180 degrees. When we have a straight line like this, the total angle on this straight line, either we have two, three, or more than that on this straight line, when we sum everything up, it must equal to 180 degrees. So when we have angle A plus angle B, we equal 180 degrees. Another thing we have to learn on this straight line is angles on the same straight line are adjacent to each other. I mean, adjacent may we place them side by side. They are sideways to each other. And also, they have a common vertices. These are common vertices, this straight line. So, they all rest on this vertices, A and B. So, meaning that A and B are adjacent to each other. Now, we are going to look at this to solve questions on this, which means sum of angles on the straight line will equal 180 degrees. Example one. If x o y, that is x o y, is a straight line, find the value of x. When look at it, we have four angles on the straight line. One, two, three, four. I will know that the first theorem we are talking about is that when you sum up the angles on the straight line, it must equal to 180 degree. So we have 20 degree plus 2x, plus 5x, plus 3x, equals 180 degree. Reason, sum of angles on a straight line. So we have 20 degree plus, so when we sum it up, 2x plus 5x, we have 7x, plus 3x, we have 10x. 10x is equal to 180 degree. So we collect like terms. This doesn't have x. Let's go and meet our 180. So we have 10x equals to 180 degree. So when plus 20 crosses equals to, it changes to minus 20 degree. So 10x is equals to 180 degree minus 20. We have 160 degree. Now, I need to, I need to find my x. So we have to divide both sides by this 10. So we have 10x is equals to 160 degree. Divided by 10, divided by 10, 10 goes in 10, x equals to 0 cancels zero, so we have 16 degree. So the value of x is 16 degree. So we can now find each of these angles by saying 2 times 16, 5 times 16, 3 times 16, give us the value of this, each of these angles. So when we sum up everything, it must equal to 180 degree. Example 2, from the diagram below, B is equal to half of D, C is equal to one third of A, and, and D equals to 32 degree. Find the angle marked A degree. So what to find the man, angle this angle? First of all, we know that this angle A, B, C, D, they are on a straight line. Okay, let us rewrite this. So Angle B equals to half of D. This is our angle B. It's half of D. So B, B is equal to half of D. Meaning B equals to D times 1, D over 2. Cross multiply. My D equals to 2B. Fine. Next one, C is equal to 1 third of A. C equals to A times 1, A over 3. Cross multiply A equals to 3C, then our D equals to 32 degree. So definitely from here, our D is 2B, our A is 3C. So this A here is 3C, 3C, and D, this is my D, which is, my D is 32 degree. Okay, now look at this B. B is equal to half of D, and my D is 32. So B we equal to 1 over 2 times my D, 32. 2 here, my 2 here is 16. My B now is 16. Now, my C remains C. So from here, I'm having the unknown here to be C. Don't forget, my A equals to 3C. If I'm able to get my C, I'll get my A then. From here, I have to add up. Add up. So now it equals to 180 degree and go on a straight line. So we have 3C plus 16 
plus C plus 32 is equal to 180 degree. Reason, sum of angles on a straight line. So we call it like terms. 3C plus C plus 16 plus 32 equals 180 degree. 3C plus C, we have 4C plus 16 plus 32, we have 48 equals 180 degree. Then 4C, collect like term here, equals to 180 degree minus 48 degree. So 4C equals to, so when we subtract, Four C equals one hundred thirty-two degree. Now to get the value of C divided by side by four, we have four C divided by four equals one hundred thirty-two degree divided by four. Four goes in four, so C equals to four here. Around. Four in thirteen, we have three. In another twelve, we have three. That is thirty-three degree. So my C is thirty-three degree. But you are asked to find the value of angle A. From here, angle A. So angle A equals to 3C, meaning that A is equal to 3C. That is 3 times 33, which is equal to 99 degree. So the value of angle A is 99 degree. So when this C here is 33 degree, this angle A will be 99 degree. So when you sum it everything together, it must equal to 180 degree. Example 3. In the figure below, angle ABC is a right angle. Find the value of angle EBD. How to find the value of angle EBD, meaning this one and this one. How to find their values? If you could recall, among the other angles that we treated, we have a right angle triangle, which sum up, which sum up to 90 degrees. So we have 3x plus 5x minus 2 plus 2x minus 2 is equal to 90 degree. So we have 3x plus 5x plus 2x minus 2 minus 2 equals to 90 degree. 3x plus 5x, we have 8x. 8x plus 2x, we have 10x. Minus 2 minus 2, we have minus 4 is equal to 90 degree. Let's call it like terms. 10x is equal to 90 plus 4. When this one crosses, it equals to change plus. 10x is equal to 94. So get the value of x, I have to divide both sides by 10. So I have 10x is equal to 94 divided by 10 divided by 10. 10 goes in 10. My x equals to 9.4. And to one decimal place, so 9.4. Now, to now find the value, find the value of angle EBD, angle EBD, EBD, that is 5s minus 2. So, angle EBD, therefore, angle EBD from here equals to 5s minus 2, 5x minus 2, that is. 5 multiplied by my s is 9.4 then minus 2 so let us multiply 0 we have 47.0 minus 2 when you subtract we have 45 so angle ebd is equal to 45 degree example 4 this is the diagram given to us Angles on the straight line are M, N, and R. In the diagram, P, Q, R is a straight line. P, Q, R is a straight line. M plus N equals 180 degree. And N plus R equals 100 degree. Find M plus R. Now, let's look at this. We have M plus n equals 120 degree. Likewise, we have n 
plus r equals to 100 degree. From here, our m plus n equals to 120 degree. And don't forget, when you sum up everything here, it must equal to 180. That is m plus n plus r equals to 180 degree. Sum of angles on a straight line. Fine. From here, we have our m plus n here. So anywhere we see m plus n, we are going to put 120. So this is m plus n. 120 plus r equals 180 degree. From here, I can get the value of my r. r will equal 180 minus 120. So r equals to 60 degree. I've got, it, I've got it the value of my r to be 60 degree. Now, I can as well proceed. I was asked to get the value of m plus r. R. We have gotten my R. I have to get my N as well. I have to get my N. I have to get my N. From N plus R equals 100 degree. So N plus my R is 60 degree equals to 100 degree. So N equals to polar like things. 100 minus 60, n equals to 40 degree. So I've got in n, I've got in r, it remains my m. Now, to get my m, from this equation one, m plus n equals 120 degree, m plus my n, the n we got here is 40 degree, it's equals to 120 degree, so my m now equals 120 degree minus 40 degree. My M is equals to 80 degree. So I've got the value of my M as well to be 80 degree. So I can now find the value of M plus R. So M plus R equals to my M is 80 degree plus my R is 60 degree. So when we sum it up, we are 140 degree. So this is the first theorem we are able to lay our hands on, theorem on a straight line, that is, sum of angle on a straight line is equal to 180 degree. If you find this class very interesting, kindly subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell for my subsequent content. And don't forget to give a thumb up as you leave the channel. Thank you very much.